Hi, Dan Krause here, estate planning attorney in Wisconsin. Uh, we also do probate and elder law. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the Wisconsin transfer by affidavit form. It's how you transfer assets in a small estate in Wisconsin without going through a court process. Before I get into that, though, I want to invite you to subscribe to our newsletter. We'd love to have you on our newsletter list. We send out some good tidbits of information about estate planning, probate, and related fields. Also a little bit about our office and our staff, um, and sometimes a little bit of humor. Um, if you do want to get on the list, please email us at newsletter at friendly.law. That's newsletter at friendly.law. So, uh, the transfer by affidavit. Now, most, estate, most states have a uh, way that you can transfer assets in a small estate. In Wisconsin, a small estate is an estate that has probatable assets under $50,000. Now, there could be other assets out there that transfer automatically, like life insurance policies, or say retirement accounts that have beneficiaries designated. There can even be um, things that are in a revocable trust that automatically transfer without probate. We're only talking about the things that have the deceased person's name on them and do not automatically transfer upon that person's death. So Wisconsin has come up with a form that it's called a transfer by affidavit in uh, general terms, it's a small estate affidavit. Uh, you can Google, uh, find out these affidavits from many different states. I know that Illinois has a $100,000 limit, which is twice Wisconsin. Wisconsin has a $50,000 limit, but it's gone up over the years. And I will post a link in the uh, notes to the video about where you can find this affidavit if you are in charge of making sure that uh, a person's assets get to where they're supposed to go and that the debts are paid you will be able to get access to bank accounts to investment accounts to selling a car uh, that were owned by the deceased person if you use this transfer by affidavit as long as all of the assets that are probatable have a total value of under $50,000. Let me show you what the form looks like. This is the form. It's a, a PDF form that you can download and you can fill it out on a PDF filler. And it's fairly simple and easy. I'm not going to go through each part. But there, there's a part right here that you uh, have to put the total value of all the assets that would be subject to administration. And in this part is where you list the assets. So you can list car and you want to put the make, the year, the model, and the VIN number, and the value. So you'd say $5,000. Let's say it's a, a used car with about $5,000. And then you would say state, bank, account number one two three four five six seven and then you would put the value there if you know the value and you would put uh, one thousand four hundred dollars and then after you get done listing all the assets you'd put a total and that in this case would be six thousand four hundred dollars and then you put 6,400 up here in this spot and fill out the rest of the form but be careful because by signing this form there's only certain people that can sign this form by the way um, but by signing you have to be related in a certain way etc but nine when you sign this you are making a sworn statement you are saying that you assume the duty to apply the property for the payment of obligations according to the priorities under law. Meaning that you can't just take the money out of the bank or sell the car and keep it. You have to do what is required under the law. Meaning that if there's debts, you have to pay the debts in the order that they are um, uh, 
laid out in the statute. So you might not know what the statute is, but um, we're, it's too much to go into right here. But if there's debts, you have to pay the debts. And then you can't just keep the money after that. You have to, if there's anything left over after the debts are paid, it needs to go to the people who would receive from the person if uh, their will was followed, if they have a will. So you have to go and look at the will and see who gets the money. Or if there's no will, you go by the Wisconsin or your state's intestate succession laws, which just means the, the state has uh, a rule about who gets money after somebody passes away after the debts are paid. I hope this has been helpful. And if you have more questions about this or any other uh, estate planning, probate, or elder law uh, topics, please give us a call. Our number is 608-268-5751. Thank you very much for listening.